right, so we built our hull. We built our lab, so we're getting the research points now. Uh, we built our money savers, so we're saving money. And we are started our first shipyard, so we should be able to build a ship here soon. And what kind of ship do we want? I think we want another construction ship to build these uh, mining stations here. Just about done here. Get him to move to the next. I said I just want to do these three, and then I'll set them on automation. So the minute we see a building tag here, we we know we can uh, start building some ships. So let's maybe pause and go into our ship designer. And we're going to go to state ships in order to build a small construction ship. Various stats. It builds 33% slower. And we'll manually create. Now, ships need to be finished before you can use them. So technically, it really doesn't matter what order you put stuff on. However... I still like to start with my command center and my crew systems for the maintenance savings. But before the ship is even finished building, we're saving money, getting 20%. So that's what I like to see. Um, there's no warp drives yet, so we'll just go to power. And we'll put an energy collector there, and we'll grab a pair of fuel cells. We'll grab one cargo bay. Uh, we need a construction yard. Probably need a couple of engines, I think, too. Put a pair of engines on. And uh, what else do we need here? I guess just another crew system. Is that it? That is it. This ship will function and it will build stuff, which is all I need it to do. And this is a pre-warp. Replicator. We'll save that. And as soon as we see that building tag, we'll start one of those. All right. There it is. So you have to unselect, reselect the station, and there's your building tab. Boom. Build one construction ship. And watch your money sink even deeper. This is stuff we need, so build them. Can't get by without this construction ship. You need to in order to get the pre warp going properly. And we have our lab down already. That was quick. All right, I'm just going to rename this. As soon as autosave is done, I'm just going to call this the Odin Moon Industrial Labs. If I can type. Okay. So we're going to build that up, and then we'll build out our uh, two, uh, two research labs. And see, we need 240 to fund that one lab we got done on our spaceport, but... Oh well. <laughs> so yeah, no research bonuses. We're going to be pretty bare bones. But we're just going to get our actual research output here. So no funding for stations for quite a while. And we're done over here. Grab this last one, and then we'll get the location uh, scan going. As you can see, we're still not quite done yet. 88%, but we're building a ship. Getting our research points. All good. It's all good. Spaceport constructed. There it is. That bad boy. These look so rugged. Like, it looks like it'll take a hell of a lot of firepower power to get through the side of that thing. I do like that ship set. I, I just generally like the art in the game. I really do. Okay, so you're done there. I'm just going to hit you with a location scan now. Scan location. He'll just buzz around and collect up the rest of them. He might even do a couple passes at the home world here. Ooh! Got another resource coming. No idea what it is. Hopefully a luxury. Yeah, pushing that a little more would be nice. All right. Uh, what else can we have a look at here? Um, going to come up to our early warp field experiments. I can't wait till that's done because as soon as that's done, we went up another point in that corruption. Uh, this corruption is going to drop finally. Yeah. So uh, I, I consider it the 
like when you get pre-warped that oh a whole new industry's cropped up and uh, people are getting legitimate jobs rather than working the underground sort of thing so that's why the corruption drops you are 78 percent. so when he's done he's going to need a uh mining station sign to pull this pull these out so let's go do that right now that is a civilian base we'll add new small mining station various increase uh, various infos here so we'll be part of that okay so um first things first our money savers of course and center through system and then we're going to put the mi large mining engine on so basically we're going to save money while we build this thing and then we're going to start mining but the mining engine is going to grind to a halt immediately after it's done because there's nowhere to put the stuff let's throw a cargo bay in so now let's start mining it's going to throw it in the cargo bay and start collecting this stuff up for us perfect uh, I, i'm just going to make this bare bones for now so we're going to do the space reactor and get her power up and running and need a fuel cell as well and a cargo bay or a docking bay sorry and that is a functional station not protected or anything that's fine cheap to maintain we'll take it and this will be a dig 1000 orbital extractor and we'll save that and every time we build one of these, we're going to get almost 5,000 credits. That's coming straight from the private sector, because this is a private design, a civilian uh, base. So the expense for come, for building that is going to come out of here. So 5,000 a pop, you build 10, there's 50 grand. 20, there's most of your money gone. So this game really does slap you hard for building too quick. And we got a new scientist. Do we have any labs up and running yet? Uh, you can't put them on your spaceport, but you can put them on your research stations. And we do not have a lab done yet, so as soon as that 62% is finished, we can we can transfer our scientist over. And what else do we have going on? Uh, are you done yet? Oh, that's going to come up soon. Probably just watch this number to see when that next lab is finished. At that point we can transfer over our scientist oh we have a construction ship done perfect out he comes very nice okay i'm gonna get him to build oh 74 mebnar okay, build right on that that'll be fine off you go he's gonna turn around go back in get some materials and off he goes and should be able to place our scientist. Yep. So one lab. All you need is one lab up and running. Scientist, go to that lab. To the moon with you. There you go. And yes, we still have unknown items at home world. Yes, I'm aware of that. All right. Cool. And we're almost done our work fields. Um, I don't think I'm having much of a chance to time lapse here, keep yapping about stuff. Oh, well, we'll build it the uh, warp fields uh, and we'll uh, bring it on. Get this number under control if we can. All right, two days left. He goes. Hyper. Hyper space technology discovered. Using the ancient knowledge to be covered in our earlier exploration, we have developed our very first primitive hyperdrive. The breakthrough of, uh, this breakthrough allows te uh, technology allows our starships to travel faster than light. And we should exploit this uh, capability and redesign the ships and see what else is out there, of course. Excellent. Okay, so we'll dismiss that. It gives us a skip drive. And we'll hit pause because the first thing we're going to need now is some explorers. We can go explore our <laughs> so let's come in that's a state ship and we'll upgrade our fabricator while we're at it here too we're going to add new one to do to do to do exploration ship oh man create that <laughs> starting with our money savers of course command and crew 
And then we get to throw on a skip drive, finally. And power that up. Again, I'm just going through the list here. I just know it off the top of my head, so. Yeah, we'll throw an energy collector in, a pair of fuel cells. Uh, engines, generally three for explorers, yep. Three of those. You can place them over here, too. Yeah, if you want to do the engine thing manually here. One, two. Yeah, that's that's a little awkward to work with, isn't it? Oh, I see. All right, well, anyways, I won't monkey with that. But generally, they're separated a little better. You can work with them a little better. In this case, though. Uh, so, uh, beyond engines, we need some survey modules. Put those on. Uh, we'll also give it a proximity array. A proximity arrays do give you a little wee bit of countermeasures and targeting, but uh, it's the scanning we're actually after here. That way you'll be able to see what's around him. So if there's a base near him and he doesn't, be not near it, he can still see it. And I think that's all we're going to do because we are right on the wire with power. And uh, that looks fine. That'll actually explore a couple things. Oh, we need more crew. Yeah. I didn't look at my requirements. And now we're going to go slow. Don't want to go slow. That's 10% off our hyper jump speed. So I think I'm just going to add another reactor. Uh, we have to add two by the time we get to the next level of skip drive anyways, the, the warp bubble. We're going to need two, so I might as well put it on now and go full speed. We're going to need to use the resources anyway, so I might as well use them now. So this is going to be a surveyor one system mapper. One system mapper. Save that. Uh, we'll wait for that. Um, I don't really need uh, skip drives on these, on the uh, construction ships yet. Uh, we're not skipping around. We're just kind of impulsing around a home world, so I don't really need to do that quite yet. But we will build. Uh, how many cores should I get? Not a huge amount. Oh, there's like four gas giants in here. Perfect. Hopefully we get fuel. I've had a few of these runs stop with no fuel. Uh, is not fun. Hopefully we get fuel on one of these. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to get two. I can afford two. I could probably get away with one more, but I'll get two more. We're going to need them when we get out in, uh, outside our system anyway, so it's not like it's going to be a waste. And we can get stuff done a bit quicker, so... A little more expense, unfortunately, but you, know, you consider the big picture here. <laughs> what's the what's the expense on that? Yeah, 109. Am I going to worry about 100, an extra 109 on top of that? Not really. Build it out. Okay, so there there they come, and we'll just put those on manual and on the onward. Okay, so recreation and basic medical is next. Um, actually, kind of second guessing these. It's not a whole lot of benefit. It will drop this a bit, maybe a couple hundred if I build both of these. Oh, so there's the, there's also the, yeah, whether we need these right away or not in this situation, I don't know. Uh, a more normalized startup would definitely benefit from those. I'm gonna go with it anyway. I'll go with it anyway. Yeah, the, this, ooh, okay. Corruption just dropped because we got skip drives now. 39%. That's the difference. What was that a minute ago? Uh, can I see that? Yeah, it was minus 443 a minute ago or 571 or something. And now we're at 93 just because of that corruption drop. Also, we need to take another look at our leader. Oh! Industrialist, plus 20 mining rate, another hit the happiness, or uh, colony growth, though. And ship construction speed, plus 5. Ability, plus. Oh, that's nasty. That's our overall happiness now. Population, minus 15. Happiness, minus 20. Come on, buddy, you can be corrupt, too. You got one more trait. I don't dismiss leaders. I reuse them. I use them no matter what. Which adds to my challenge. 
Get a bad leader for 60 years. <laughs> yep. All right, so we'll get uh, get our uh, explorers up and running. And we're just about done, I think. Was the uh, lab is almost done. I might get him to build the moon, and then we'll get this guy to just concentrate on the asteroids around Homeworld for now. Yeah, we'll work it like that. My non-budget. <laughs> well, at least it's not as bad as it was. So I think once we build these two items, we'll actually be in a positive and we won't be paying the private sector anymore. And there's our space or our research station. Bad, eh? So good. So, oh, so good. All right, let's grab our construction ship. And we will build the, la or the orbital extractor at the moon. He's going to go back, pick up materials, and return to build that out. Find her north again. I always try to keep my north facing because if I play, if I, I sometimes I played the whole pre warp at uh, facing south, and then when I do face north, it's like, where is everything? <laughs> I'm totally thrown off. So I try to keep north uh, as much as possible. All right, what else should we look at here? We got the uh, spores coming, digging. Somewhat researching. All right. Our, our exploration ships are done. So, first one, uh, we, we're going to look for fuel first thing. So, the innermost planet is usually your fuel, not always, but, or innermost gas giant, sorry. So, we're going to come over and we're going to scan that one. Grab the other constructor. Where's the next one? He's over here. So do the first two. Hopefully get lucky and find fuel right away. But like I said, it's either buried deep or sometimes can be not in the system at all. That kind of sucks. All right. So who's doing our first jump here? Who's the guinea pig? Who's gonna who's gonna attempt the first warp drive? Warp jump. Why is the Odin errand? He's now speeding through space faster than light. What horrors will it find? Who knows? Alright. Off you go. Find me some fuel. And we're still building this out. And we're done with our lab. And we have Handsome Pathfinder building a mining station there. Perfect. Oh, Necrostone showed up. When did that show up? Completely missed that. Golly, I saw that. I didn't get an alert on that. Okay, that's fine. Mining station constructed. There it is. Very first mining station. Look at that. So good. All right. Well, it's you to build the other side. Go here. Off you go. And this guy's still running around doing the asteroids. Did you find anything juicy here? on there and so far eh? standard stuff so what did we catch here our 74 and 7 looks like uh, nothing on any of the other ones but that's worth having there definitely worth it oh look there's a little mining ship coming over to mine the moon There he goes. Gonna be pretty slow, but and himself busy, that's fine. 
All right. Um, I could push this. Um, I'm very mindful of the money I spend, so I'm going to let that go a little more. Uh, what we can do, though, is queue up our next level of warp bubbles. So again, keep in mind that this level requires 500 credits. Also 50 Emerus Crystal, Necrostone, Mebnar, Polymer, Carbonite. That's actually a pretty expensive tech. Yep. So we're going to uh, queue it up anyway, because we need it. We'll finish all that, and we'll get the early warp field, or the uh, warp bubbles. And we will go places. Own items, yes, I know. Let it be known. Fine. Be awesome. All right. I'm still drinking my coffee. It's like the middle of the night here. <laughs> I get up early. I get up at like 2 a.m. at stupid hours. I go to bed at stupid hours, too. I haven't seen an evening in forever. I'm an old man. Pretty soon I'll be going for the early bird specials in the afternoon. That'll be dinner. <laughs> okay, I think that's your last asteroid here. We'll finish up. Yeah, now he might take another pass at the planet. No, we're at 20, so he can't go any farther. Yeah, so I'm just going to get him to retrofit here at the planet. Over to the spaceport. That'll be fine. And here comes our constructor. Build a miner out at the moon. Which will dig out this last resource for us. Will be perfect. All right. Keep looking over to see where chat is. Forget this. Is, <laughs> this isn't a live stream. Mm. All right. So how are you guys doing? You're scanning out? Okay. We'll just see what they do. Please be fuel at the surface level. I hate having to dig for this stuff. 15 seconds. Four, three, two, survey says fuel. Perfect. 13%, not so perfect, but I'll take it. At least it's fuel in our home world. All right. Uh, one thing I didn't put on my, my uh, mining stations was the extra um, mining engine. That's fine. We'll do that on the next retrofit, which will be coming up fairly shortly. Okay, so um, standing again, which means there's more gases here. Yeah, so it's so going to be some of the other gases here. So I'll let him go, and we'll see what the other guy brings up. Hopefully another fuel would be perfect. And do we have... Okay, we just got the one asteroid field. Nothing in it, though. Um, I'm just trying to consider my pirate magnets, which is what I call uh, my first uh, mining build outside our orbit. Basically, one of your first mining engines that you put down, or mining stations that you put down, will become a magnet for the pirates, and they'll all gravitate to that one. Uh, discovery. Ooh, show me. Aha! That's our last, uh, last resource at the moon. Kuprika, 20%. Nice. And we are going to start mining it by the looks of it. Excellent. And we just put down another mining station there. Uh, I really like to rush that. Yes, I should. Probably makes sense. It's a good return on investment, I think. How much? Forty-seven hundred or fourteen? All right. Push it through. Right, less than a year now. We'll get it. And there was absolutely nothing here. This is surrounded by asteroids too, which is a good note to take. Um. Might as well come over here. I'm hoping for a secondary fuel, but it doesn't look like it. Wow, there's not a whole lot in here, is there? Uh, rocky Desert. That's our moon that we just saw. Carbonation, maybe carbonate there. Ideas, hopefully. 
yeah, we're going to be short a lot of stuff, which is probably why we got such a good supply to start with. Yeah, that's all quad digits, which means we're probably going to be short most everything. Wow. I'm hoping that's silicon, but I doubt it. I think it's probably going to end up being another luxury. We'll see how that works out. And you are retrofitted and good to go. So, you know, do a drive by here and we'll see what this base is all about. It's probably a pirate base, but not necessarily. It might be something we can repair. If so, that would be awesome. How's our budget looking? Doesn't really change much, has it? Hasn't really changed. I'm going to take a break and make another coffee soon, though. No coffee cup envy. That thing has been in my life for like 10 years. Well seasoned it is. All right, so we built that. It's the moon. Perfect. All right, what else do we have here? Uh, that looks like a nice little cluster in here. Let's build on this one. Uh, yeah, planet starts with moons are good if you have asteroids around. This is actually a really good money maker. You can tell. Even though we're in the hole, we're still making money. Every time we put one of these down, we get 5,000. Mind you, the private sector loses 5,000 too. Can be holding up. Oh, they're making 10 grand now. Yeah, that uh, corruption drop only helps out. We're still paying the private sector. <laughs> We're not out of the woods yet here. Yep, crazy situation. Okay, survey says. One again. All right, let's see what this base is about. We'll figure it out. I'm hoping it's an actual spaceport. Oh, no, no, I think I can see it now. No, it's going to be a pirate base. I can, I can see the flag on it. Yep, so that's a pirate base. We'll just see how strong it is. Uh, they kind of nerfed the uh, strength of these back a bit in the last patch or two, which points me a bit, but. I like when they're a significant challenge. You definitely needed frigates and everything to take one of those down. But see what these are like. Oh! Oh! Another luxury at Homeworld. Excellent. Oxunum steak. And Oxunum are sure footed goat like creatures that inhabit the secluded canyons of rocky desert worlds. Awesome. 5% development. That is amazing. All right. So uh, if we come over and have a look at our bottom line, we should see some stuff happening now. Okay. I'm going to take it off pause and we're going to watch our resources go to growing. We're growing. We might even be in the positives here after this. Okay. Uh, 578 for that base. Really? That's low. Or fighters. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed these got nerfed. It is what it is. Uh, you can go over here, I guess. Right, we'll carry on and we'll just observe, see what happens here. So it's six percent growing, and we're going up. How much? Five more percent. Oh, we're down from, yeah, we're down uh, almost uh, minus 60 on our taxes. Ooh, we're below 60. Getting better, everybody. <laughs> yes, I'm hoping after this we won't have to pay the private sector anymore. That kind of sucks. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, 48. There we go. Seven. I think we're going to 11, right? Is everything else looking? Oh, get you put back to work. 
Uh, maybe we'll go over to this side and get this travel time done. Let's go to the top. Uh, maybe not. Hang on. It's on that. Nothing there. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Build that one. For spreadsheet. 8%. Ooh, my ooh, 20, 20 credits we're at it. We're, we don't have to pay the private sector anymore. Can we do it? I got two more percent to go. Thirteen. Are we actually gonna get tax money? <laughs> that's what that's a big question now. Are we actually gonna get a bit of tax money here without having to pay them? Minus two. Two. We're in the positives. Check it out. Calling taxes. Two credits. Five credits. <laughs> Five credits. There we go. I'm happy. Game over. I win. <laughs> Five whole credits, everybody. That should really help our debt here. Our deficit. <laughs> well, it helps. It got us out of the negatives. Absolutely.